Hello and welcome to the Horoscope Vault, a podcast that explores the world through the lens of astrology. For those who are done with life's unexpected twists and turns, and for those who are not afraid to explore everything in a bid to gain an edge on this wild ride called life. I'm Charlie, an associate member of the American Federation of Astrologers and astrology reader for radio's The Bob and Cherry Show. This episode is the weekly prediction for the zodiac sign Sagittarius, looking at how you are impacted by the changes happening in the life of people that you share your life with. So the closest people to you, the one-on-one connections that you have, they all seem to be going through some really big changes and that has a knock-on effect to you. I will forecast using the sun in your sign as the first house point of the chart. That is called the solar charting method. It's the most foundational circumstance that the rest of your experience is built upon. But if you want to get more out of these readings, consider listening to the horoscope for your rising sign. And if you don't know what your rising sign is, then use the calculator below to find out. (laughs) This week for Sagittarius is a great time to start a new physical exercise routine. This is not just for the visual aesthetics of your body, it's for your self-confidence too. That way you can approach life with a little bit more force and directness if you have a strong physical exercise workout routine. Exercise really does empower you to take more action because of how good action feels. Your love life might have its own thing going on. If you are in a relationship, then your partner might be taking a risk on something. And as they do, that actually works out in your favor. This is particularly valid if you are a nocturnal chart, which means born at nighttime. So if you are a Sagittarius born after 7 p.m., then the risks that your partner, and this is business partner or romantic partner, but the risks someone that you are close to that they are taking will benefit you with some good luck. If you have a daytime chart, if you are born before 7 p.m., then this luck will come unexpectedly through you yourself. So just keep an open mind this week. Avoid being overly assertive. Avoid questioning too many things. Just stay open to new opportunities. Especially because second chances are often a positive thing. So being open to some kind of second chance this week is also helpful. Mars in Gemini squares, Saturn in Pisces. This is just you needing to get organized with a financial issue. You might need to consolidate. You might also find yourself repairing and upgrading and updating some things that you own. Be very cautious with contracts and agreements because ones that are previously made may dissolve during this time or ones that you create this week. If you are thinking about some kind of contract or agreement this week, then they might not go how you desire them to go in the future. Do not sign anything particularly important this week. In general, though, all existing relationships, and that includes marriages, that includes business, all relationships require some openness and freedom for this momentary push of evolution. If things are diabolical, then a separation or a divorce is indicated. But if you are able to give adequate space and, again, be open-minded, then this is a great time for creating balance between personal freedom and commitment, where the result is increased harmony. That's it for this week. If you do relate to this reading, you might benefit from the daily insights too. And they are just episodes that get deeper into the expectations of the day for each of the signs, and they do include moon aspects also. I will leave the link to sign up for that below. And until next time, bye.